This video is about the UNESCO Man and the Biosphere Program. It's about a network of UNESCO biosphere reserves. 651 biosphere reserves in 120 countries. What is the difference between a UNESCO biosphere reserves and UNESCO World Heritage Sites? UNESCO World Heritage Sites are very special places like the Galapagos Islands or Yosemite National Park in the United States. They're so special that the international community decided to preserve them. The idea was to protect them in such a way that they don't change. The MAP program, on the other hand, has a more open approach. It considers that nature is always surrounded by people. And people, they need nature to live. They also need nature to eat and to develop. And that is why UNESCO Biosphere Reserves always include people and their homes. The program also focuses on this, not on nature as such, like World Heritage, but on the interaction between nature and people. It's about the right balance between people and nature. And the right balance is not only about nature, it is also about people and identity and communities. And it's also about development and jobs. And what the MAP program tries to do is to connect these three, to connect people and nature and development. Now, how does it do that? There are three steps in this process. The first step is science. The program uses science to look at these forms of interaction between people and nature, to find recipes for people and nature to live together without harming each other. It is about finding techniques for people to use nature without using it up. And there are many recipes for that, of course, and they can be identified by scientists in these 651 biosphere reserves. And all these recipes then can be compiled in a big book like this that can inspire, and that takes us to the next step, politicians. Because as a matter of fact, politics are important in this program. It is overseen by a body of 34 governments. And these governments decide which biosphere reserves become UNESCO biosphere reserves. And when they come together to talk about the program, they can learn about these experiments and these recipes for a good interaction between people and nature. And then they can decide to apply them in their own country. The third element in, the, in this process is networks, because these biosphere reserves are connected in one global network. And the managers of these biosphere reserves are also connected because they build relationships. And that makes it easy for these techniques and recipes to travel to other biosphere reserves with the tips and the tricks and the do's and the don'ts that these people have already identified for these people. Now, what makes this program so powerful and popular? There are two main reasons for that. The first reason is that mm, uh, these biosphere reserves know very well how to involve people. A good example of that is the island Principe in West Africa. It's a biosphere reserve and it had a big pollution problems, plastic bottles. So the biosphere started a campaign against these bottles. And the idea was very simple. For every 50 plastic bottles that were collected, the person received a metal bottle that could be reused. And it worked, because even the hotels stopped selling these plastic bottles to their clients, and instead they started selling these metal bottles that could be reused. And the people of Principe also got enthusiastic about it, because for them it was a way to participate and to help their community survive. And even the government was so impressed by the results that it is currently considering to change the law to free the island completely of these bottles by 2020. The second reason for which the MAP program is such a popular and powerful program is because it enables scientists and policymakers to communicate. Because biosphere reserves are very special laboratories. They are not closed laboratories in which scientists work secretly uh, in their white lab coats. No, these are open territories in the real world that are 
administrated by real governments. And that makes it very easy for these techniques and recipes to um, arrive all the way on the, on the tables of decision makers, because these decision makers are already involved in these territories. I stop here because now you understand how the MAP program functions. If you want to talk about it to other people, just keep it simple and remember two things. First of all, that MAP biosphere reserves are not about nature conservation, but they're about the interaction between nature and people. And secondly, UNESCO World Heritage is what we need to preserve the past, and UNESCO Biosphere Reserves are what we need to preserve our future. Thank you very much.